hello guys my name is Ursula and welcome back to my channel and today we are going to solve a new lead code question that is excel sheet column number so question says given a string column title that represents the column title as, a, as it appears in an excel sheet return its corresponding column number so we have to return the column number or its corresponding value here and we will be solving this question with the help of javascript so just before starting solving this question guys subscribe to the channel hit the like button press the bell icon button and bookmark the playlist so that you can get the updates from the channel so if you see here column if column is equals to a we will return one so and if it is column number a b we will return 28 and z y we will return 701 so how we are going to approach how we are getting such values let me explain it to you with an example here if a we say a 0 into 26 plus 65 plus 1 okay so how we are getting one with that that will also i will explain it to you then b is this whole sum this whole sum multiplied by 26 plus 2 then how we are getting 2 that will also explain it to you and now c will be if i take an example a b c let me mention oh we have a column number a b c and if we take an example c so this whole sum will give us 28 and 28 into 26 plus 3 how we are getting 3 that we also explain it to you so let's just understand so these are all asci values so how we are approaching this the asci values i will explain it to you so asci numbers asci and if i go and scroll down here 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 something images we can check and explain it to you what they are mm. Yeah, so here I have got something here. So, <clears throat> see, um, there it's starting for 60 from 64. So, 64 uh, understand it as a zero, and this is 65 A, B, C, D. So, it's starting from 65 to uh, 90. 60 from 90, we are getting all characters here for column number if we talk about. So, if we want the number value how we will get we will multiply minus 65 minus 64 will give us 1 60 if, uh, 6 uh, minus 64 give us 2 67 minus 64 will give us 3 so if we want a value of c we will subtract these two numbers which two numbers we will subtract 67 minus 64 will give us c 66 minus 64 give us b 65 minus 65 uh, 65 minus 64 will give us a so this is how we are getting so let's write instead of one let's write it 65 minus 64 and instead of this two here instead write 66 minus 64 and here also instead of three let's write 67 minus 64 so that makes more sense and it's more logical to write these things here now let's start solving first of all i will create a variable let the sum is equals to zero which is which is my integer and i will create a count here for let in which i will uh, first of all i will putting a variable let i is equals to zero and i is less than column 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 dot length i plus plus now I will say that sum is equals to means this whole thing is equal to because it's, it's our initial value. We have to return this also. So just return this also. Return sum. So what in the loop while what we will be doing here is we will just writing this whole thing into a formula. So since this is starting from zero as well, so instead of uh, zero we can write sum 
into because this is all whole sum so in 26 plus and we will say column title dot care code it at so core cad at will give us what will give us the ACI value of that particular number so so for that and minus 64 so this will give us ACI value of any particular ith character like a it, it will give one uh, 65 it will give us 65 which will give, give us one at the end ultimately so let's run it and check for an answer so we have got our answer here this was all in the question guys hope you have understood this question and if you have any doubt ask in the comment section and we have done this with the help of javascript thank you guys for watching the video see you next time